Hi, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and we are going to have some fun today with some random leftover dyes. Right here I have some, this is just warm water that started off with about 12 cups of water and 4 tablespoons of vinegar. I have removed some of the liquid. This is an exhausted dye bath. And I'm now adding 100 grams of the of Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn. This yarn is 75% uh, Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And it's a sack yarn that absorbs dyes really fast. And I thought that this is a great candidate for us to use with a lot of leftover dye that I have in my kitchen. So to start off, let's warm things up and I just turn on the stove and we are going to get to a low simmer. So this is not quite low, eh, this is somewhat low immersion. There is a low level of water, enough to cover the yarn, but I'm about to add a significant volume of dye to the pot. So this first color, I guess is sort of a bluish purple. You can see it's like a deep blue. And I think it came from a mixture of a lot of colors that I had been using. Sometimes I like to dissolve the, the leftover dye that's on spoons or, you know, other equipment or that's left over from hand painting to use at another time. And so this is just one of those examples. You see the dye is so dark that you can understand why I wouldn't want to get rid of it. And now this color is more of a black. Um, but it's also somewhat purplish as black food coloring tends to be. So I am also adding that on here. And you can see that we increased the level of liquid in here considerably. And I'm actually going to turn up the heat. Um, and you can see that I'm moving the yarn a tiny bit. Uh, I don't want to mix the color across here because I want to get these cool color differences, but I do want to allow the yarn that is near the bottom of the pot to access these colors as well. So I am now going to let well, you can see that the temperature is already coming back up um, in, let me see. I can reach my finger in it, but it's definitely warm. So I think I will reduce the heat again. All right, I've reduced the heat. I'm gonna let this go for five minutes and then we'll come back and check on the color. But you can see we've got, you can see we've got a lot of color left in here right now been 10 minutes and I just adjusted the contrast on the video so you can see something that looks a lot more like what I'm seeing. The colors on the top are really deep and dark and saturated. I also want to point out we have some areas of this sort of solid red. You can see oh, it might be attached to fibers. That is some red number three. Oh, there we go. And it the red number three is something that can crash out, and when it does, um, you tend to get bright little red spots. Ooh. Anyway, that is hot. Don't stick your finger in it. The water has almost completely cleared. There's still a hint more blue, but I'm actually going to turn off the stove. Uh, and my finger is fine, by the way. I'm going to turn off the stove and let this cool in the pot. I could remove it now, and that would be perfectly fine. But letting it sort of sit in the pot a little longer will give the fiber some time to absorb this residual blue color. The dye bath here is still warm, but it has cooled considerably. And you can see that there isn't really any color left in the pot. Okay, but let's take a look. Wow! Look at those brighter blues. So you know how colors break and some strike right away. Well, we got a lot of the deep color on the top of the yarn 
and then brighter colors through to the center. So I'm now going to let this, it's still warm in here, I'm going to let it cool completely and then we can wash our yarn. And let's wash our yarn. I am curious to see whether or not we'll get any, any bleeding. So far, it looks like the color is staying in our yarn. Hooray, hooray, hooray. And I honestly don't remember what colors are in here. I added to these leftover dyes if I had some residual on a spoon or leftover from a color that I mixed. Um, so there's just a lot of different spots it could have come from. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm about to add some clear dish soap um, to help, help dislodge any extra dye. I don't think I had Kool-Aid in here because it didn't smell like Kool-Aid. But you never do know with me. Uh, there definitely could have been something residual. If you wanted to get these kinds of colors, um, I think that mixing maybe black, maybe a little bit of what, violet, royal blue kind of thing would get you somewhere close to this. There's definitely a lot of black food coloring in here because of the deep colors and the bright blue. But I'm really looking forward to see what this looks like once it dries. So I'm gonna rinse it a little more to get out any excess soap. Then I'll hang this up to dry and show you guys what the finished yarn looks like. Here is the finished dry yarn. I am almost disappointed that this was done with leftover dyes because the purple and blue, sort of blue-green here in this yarn are so beautiful that I wish that I could easily recreate them. Alas, I do not know what dyes I used and what proportions they were in because this was dye that was left over um, on, on spoons at the bottom of cups from a number of different dyeing projects. The purple is more muted than what we see with Wilton's Violet, and the blues are a little more green than what we see when we use Wilton's Black. Overall, the combination of all these colors is absolutely, is absolutely spectacular, and I am so excited that I saved these dyes um, in a little plastic container to use at a different time. I love sharing these videos where I dye yarn with leftover dye because it shows that leftover waste, something that you might pour down the drain, can still be used to create some unbelievably stunning colors. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and if you like this video, please subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel and like this video. I release many new videos every week, and there are so many fun dyeing adventures that we can explore together. If you want to support Chemnitz on a more personal level, check out the Chemnitz Patreon. Thank you so much for watching.